With the latest from News for Jax, I'm Joy Purdy. Among the latest COVID-19 victims was a seven-year-old boy from Chatham County, Georgia. The Georgia Health Department says the little boy died from the virus and had no underlying medical conditions. The state of Georgia added 42 deaths and 3,182 confirmed cases of the coronavirus today, bringing the total number of positive cases to nearly 205,000 in that state. Today, the Georgia Bureau of Investigation executed a search warrant at the home of Eric Spar and his mother, who was found dead last month. GBI agents say they continue to work to determine what involvement the 57-year-old Spar may have had in the shooting deaths of Harold Swain and his wife Thelma at the Rising Daughter Baptist Church in Woodbine, Georgia. The murders happened back in 1985. Dennis Perry was found guilty of those murders, but a judge overturned that conviction after the GBI reopened the case. Many News for Jack's viewers have reached out to us wondering why their July utility bill from JEA was so high. Some customers questioned whether JEA was trying to make up for the costs it accumulated during the pandemic. Well, according to JEA, there has not been any rate increase since July 1st of 2019. And you may have actually seen a lower bill just a few months ago in May because of a JEA fuel credit. The utility company says the spike some customers are seeing is directly related to the weather. You can always find the latest news on newsforjax.com. Have a great afternoon.